Pass and Peel, everyone. All right, since spring just took so long to get here, we have a very special treat for you. We have the diva of deliciousness herself, Tinky Wise, but from TinkyCooks.com here. We are making some comfort food today. We are making a cider and syrup pot roast. We are because it's still, I mean, certainly, as you say, spring is here, but... We could still have a little comfort food. I love that. And this recipe is from Carolyn Wheeler of Wheelview Farm in Shelburne. And I should have gone and bought her meat, but I didn't <laughs> get there. So I bought it from my local general store, which has great meat. There you go. So you basically buy, you go to your butcher and say that you want a three to four pound pot roast. And I think this is chuck, which is a nice lean cut. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to feel too guilty eating it. That is perfect. And this is totally the easiest recipe in the world. So I love that. Yeah, isn't that nice? So well, and that's the thing. I think a lot of people think that you have to have all of these crazy ingredients to make a meat or something really tasteful, but you really don't. No, and it's and you don't have to actually. There's very little cooking on your part involved because I'm using my slow cooker. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to let you mix. Okay. Okay. So we start with our cider syrup, which you have to look for a little bit, but it is a. Um, it's also called boiled, boiled cider. It's basically cider boiled down and down and down until it's this nice sweet syrup. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here so everybody can and, see it. Oh please. And then some ketchup. I know and I'm using really, well you'll see. Here's some ketchup. And in a little while you're gonna whisk all this. I shall. I am ready for my duties. Dry mustard. Which I have a large container of. Mm. And quite a bit of that. Then I went back and forth. So Carolyn and I agree that you could probably use finely chopped onion and finely chopped garlic. And that's what I was going to do, because. but I actually went out and bought onion and garlic powder, because when she made it, it was so good with those. So oh, that's so what we're putting in now. The real, no. You just need the A dry. dash. The recipe says a dash of nutmeg. I'm interpreting a dash very liberally, so that's <laughs> like half a teaspoon. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce for that nice little kick. Dense flavor. And salt and pepper. That's kind of it. And that's actually pretty simple. That's very These simple. These are a lot of things that people already have in their I house. I have most of those things in my house. I think I do And too. now I have onion powder and garlic powder. Okay, now, it doesn't have to be super. Now all you do is you take that and you're gonna pour it gently and I'm gonna spread it okay. on our roast. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just gonna cook forever and ever. So this is my slow cooker, in case you didn't guess. Yeah, lovely. And we cover it up. Well, somewhere there's a cover. Here it is. There it is. And we cook it on high for, she said five to six hours. It took me six hours in my slow cooker. It's probably okay. going to depend on your slow cooker. Okay. And, um, or you can put it, cook it for an hour on high. That was on high. And then you can leave it on low overnight and just go to Ooh, sleep. Ooh, and then you wake up. Then you wake up and there it is. Because I don't think you're going to want to eat it for breakfast. But this is one of those dishes that is always better the second day. So when we get it. Ooh, wow. I, I put the other, I took it out of the slow cooker, obviously. So it comes out and kind of falls into chunks anyway. But all you do is oh my goodness. shred it a little. See how soft and luscious and juicy it is? Now, do you know when it is fully done, when, when, it, when starts it does break to, apart? Well, you know, slow cookers are tricky because you don't really want to um, open them too many yeah. times or they don't, they don't cook so well. But yeah, I just, I tried it five hours okay. on high and it didn't seem to me that it was falling apart quite. I stuck a little fork in and it wasn't falling apart quite enough. This is perfect. I mean, that you don't looks... want it disintegrating. No. But you want beautiful little pieces and sauce. And I'm just going to grab a bowl and put some in. You can serve it with noodles. You can serve it with apples, which I happen to have here. Yum. You can just eat it. Now, Tinky, coming up later in the show, all dinners must have a good dessert. What are we making? We're making my grandmother's chocolate cake because today was her birthday. Oh, that is so sweet. Tinky, this looks amazing. I cannot wait to dive into this. We will have this delicious recipe for you right on our website on mymassappeal.com. Exactly. <laughs>